good morning everyone. I'm just walking to the barn this morning. I'm going to check my one of my projects that I was doing. Um, this is the ice cooler, ice chest uh, cabinet that I made out of just scrap. And everything here was scrap or what they had on hand. We made it out of picket fence boards that we I'm had. Just gonna leave it weathered look, not gonna sand it down or stain it and stuff like that. Just so it can match the, the walls that we're putting up in here. There's a little bottle opener. I did buy that, they didn't have one, so I did have to give Amazon a call. I glued this all up yesterday morning. The Inside of the, the lid and the top of the ice chest lid I glued together. So hopefully when I pick this up, the lid will come with it and we won't have to fuss with the lid. And if all goes well, it will close securely too. So the ice chest, chest will function properly and uh, it'd be a lot uh, easier than messing with the lid every time. So here we go. Ta-da! Seems secure. Looks good. Good morning. So I glued it up and it worked. Yeah? Awesome. Yeah, sanded a little bit. I want to leave it a little rough, but but yeah, clean up the clean up the part of the project the we've been working on. So um, this is the barn wall that we've all been putting up. Mark did a lot of the really tough work on getting on a, uh, a bucket truck and getting up there and installing all this wood, but it's a big barn, so, um, but it looks really cool. And it just took a long time because we eventually, we had to trim everything to get it kind of uniform to make it very easier installation, but it looks good. And this is the top loft here on the, the south side of the barn mark finish uh, putting up that siding and uh, all in all this is going to be a place where we have already done parties and events and stuff like that but it's still a work in progress so this is how that wall that we just saw oh, used to look so i'll show you a um, project i did yesterday just a simple little stool to have so that we could use in the garden around the house. I haven't taken it for a road test yet, but we'll see if she holds up. Oh, shitting to the sun. Sorry about that. Um, Mark and his father have a lot of great tools, machinery to work with, so. Most of our projects, like I said, are out of scrap wood and things we find. Comes in handy and uh, you're able to make use and repurpose things and make them look fairly decent. All this wood was planed and cut and trimmed from a so scrap this pile. Is a rusty old hammer and it's pretty dirtied up. Found as so we're cleaning up in the yard near the chicken coop. So, plan to work with the handle a bit, get the rusty old head cleaned up, and see what it looks like. It looks like it's in decent shape for sitting out in the weather. We'll find out. Head to the barn. It's early morning. It's just a beautiful time of day here in California. I think what I'll do is 
see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna wipe it down. And, uh, let it dry in the sun for a little bit and then I'm gonna put some linseed oil on the handle. found in about how many inches of dirt got so I just didn't several uh, inches you just show me afterwards on. that's really pretty all right acrylic this is an acrylic painting on an old door it's part of the decor for Mackenzie and Mark's Zawi Nulu that was scheduled for April 21st I believe and now we're doing it we don't know when <laughs> to be determined but their, their theme is steampunk. And so this is the very first thing that I painted. And I gotta put the blimp on it still. Blimp's gonna go up here somewhere. And I have a couple more sailboats that are going on here, but it's steampunk. It's the first time I've ever done anything like that. So, you wanna get the other pictures? Bring out the other one? Sure. How long did it take you to do this one? So you just put like a base coat first. And then I dabbed on the white to make it because it was supposed to be foggy and like, you know, apocalyptic kind of looking. Um, but it's a city that has, still has industry, but it's kind of. Steampunk that was like Alice in Wonderland kind of thing. So she doesn't have a nose or really a mouth because I did a, a, a gas mask. I can't find it though. And so how did you put these newspapers on? Oh, um, these were all put on. Oh, these were from 19, I think it was 1961, San Francisco Chronicle. And it's about people, it's about the astronauts getting in space. And where did you find these papers? The, I think Colette had them in some of her, some of the old things that she purchased from like a auction, heirloom auction or something like that. So yeah, 60 year old newspaper. Hey Micah. Crazy. Uh, and then we, did, we decided we are going to do a, well she decided she's going to do an Alice in the Band theme. So we did Alice and like I said I have a little mask that I got to find because it's somewhere in the barn. It's, uh, it's one of those steampunk masks and I have a book that goes in her hands. And she has some really cool glittery glasses that go on her too and so that's another um, decoration for that. Okay, yeah, I know what that is, yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> You're not very nice. Not very nice in... it... Now, do you have more paintings or no? Mm. Not yet. Oh, yeah, I do. It's one in the house. All right, oh, this it's picture in. was made... I need to do some touch-ups before we use it again this time. This picture was made for Alice in Wonderland themed party that we did... I don't remember. Was it from yours? But anyway, we, I did that one. I remember it was cold, that's all I remember. It was last year sometime. Last January? I don't know. Anyways, it's got some touch up to what I have to do. But it's cute. It came out cute. This is going through the keyhole, apparently. I don't know. It's a picture I got offline that I redid. Anyway, cute. That'll go with the party. 